Welcome back to Skyrim, everyone. I am here in the Pit Fighters training hall, as usual, and I've decided not to go to Serpentstone Island today. Originally, I had planned to go up with Skjarn and kill a an Ice Wraith, because despite whatever prowess I've shown to the Jarl, Galmar, his general or his lieutenant, we didn't really get that far, decided that I hadn't quite impressed him enough. Um, probably a Something of my indecisiveness while speaking to him. Do I really like this? Well, I don't hate the Empire always, but blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I have to go up and kill an Ice Wraith now to prove it. Prove I want to join the Stormcloaks. Um, I would do that, except, as you can see, my stamina and my health are not recharging. And that's despite wearing some fairly common-looking clothing. And that's because I'm suffering withdrawal. I'm jonesing for potions. I haven't had one since my... Fight in the Windhelm old arena, the old Windhelm arena rather, and uh, my health magicka and stamina do not regenerate as your liver and kidneys works to detoxify your body. I don't know if it's a good idea to get off of potions because I really like potions and I'll probably take them again. Um, so I could end all of this by just taking one, right? But uh, but no, I'm. I'm sticking it out. I'm having the shivers and whatever. Like, it's not its not terrible. It's not like quitting skooma. But, um... Anyways, I'm not going to go up to Serpentstone Island or Isle or whatever and fight an Ice Wraith. How come the addictions also give plus 5% poison resistance? Honestly, I don't know why I'm trying to get off this stuff. It could be great. What I'm going to do in the meantime, though, and this was Orissa's idea, is that I'm going to explore Windhelm a bit, even though I know the place fairly well, and I am going to try and see if I can't lend the guards a little bit more assistance in solving the crimes with the butchered women. Orissa was out returning a ring for me uh, last night, I guess. No, no, it was a couple nights ago now. And, you know, Susanna the Wicked was still lying on the ground in blood, and she thought that it might be nice for me to put my talents there, since, uh, like in the, in the investigations department, because such a horrible thing happened. I do need to drop by Saudri's used wares, the thrift shop, and tell him that Arissa returned that ring. Take a good look around. Not sure, sure find what, what he'll for. do for me, but, uh... I might have the it stored quest away. is complete. Have you taken care of that? Yes, my friend actually did. You shouldn't have to worry anymore. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Oh, thanks so much. Speaking of fortune, here, everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. Oh, that's that's not necessary, Raven. That's not necessary. Five hundred. Okay. Tell you what, you could do. You could train me in the art of speech. Sometimes I feel like I don't sell enough, and I'm getting rusty. Well, you've come to the right place. Excellent. What can I do? He's he's an expert. He is an expert. He's better than I am. Um, you're expensive too. Could you give me a discount on speech training? Okay. Do come again. Yes, 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 yes. You love that kind of money, don't you? No, I, I believe he honestly is appreciative in all of this. Aren't you? No, thanks very much for your time. Okay. I actually have a lot more money, but it's in the chest of drawers next to my bed in the uh, pit fighters training hall. And I am not going to go back in there. It is snowing. If I had gone all the way back up north to where Serpentstone Isle is, then yeah, I definitely bet I'm a sailor on the north all the clues from this murder would have been wiped away. So this is a good day to do this. Um, last I remember, I went down to the graveyard, I spoke with Silda the Unseen, who's a beggar, and I spoke with uh, Calixto, the guy who owns the House of Curiosities. 
which I keep meaning to visit, by the way. I really ought to visit the House of Curiosities. And uh, this guard was pretty useless. Okay, so. Spoke with you. Always sad when someone has to die. When someone has to die. They have to die? You didn't see what happened here, though. Sorry. I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at it. I suppose that yesterday, um... They started the investigation, and these guys are sticking around to help still? How did you get off your perch? You were on top of the tombstone yesterday. That's a nasty backward, isn't it? And Silda, you have nothing more for me. I take it. Another one. Terrible. Yeah, you should really get a coat. Here, here, here's a here's a little bit of gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Go inside someplace. Although I think that she probably has sources of income besides me. I asked you, you didn't see anything. I heard a scream and came running, but she was already like this, yes. Like this when I got here. <laughs> right. Okay. You know, since the last episode, I actually installed a mod called Consistent Older People. And I think it's made her look a little bit wrinklier. You can kind of see wrinkles in her arms and her legs. Her face and neck match a bit better. The tone is off. But the... It still looks better, I think. Huh. It's my first time to try that mod. So, here I am. Uh, not killing an ice wraith. Instead, blood on the ice. Question the witnesses. I also have to go and talk to Brunwolf Freewinter. Witnesses, I questioned these two witnesses. Is that not all I need to do? And you're useless. Wait, I know you. No. No, you're making a mistake. He's making a mistake. Uh, I must be making a mistake. Let's see. tell ya, we're right next to the Hall of the Dead, aren't we? I wonder if anybody just peeked out and saw what was going on, or maybe heard what was going on. It's worth a shot. Uh, oof. Would like to warm up. I should have brought a hood. I didn't bring a hood, I don't think. I have a face cover. But I look like a bandit. Yeah, I'm not going to wear this. People will get the wrong idea. I've got a beard. That'll warm my face. Warm. Okay. So, yeah. Elder. This is a shame. I... What is... I think I've spoken with her before. So, outside... Outside... There is a dead woman. Did you have any idea what happened? Uh, no. Sorry. Okay. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. I noticed the I'm same. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. Okay, I guess they will move the body down here. Um. So nobody saw anything. Calixto might have seen a fella. Uh, Silda heard some things. Hilgard or Helgard, what was her name? I remember her being a little bit rude before I had forgotten her name. I keep forgetting her name. Helgard. Helgard noticed that the coin purse was intact, which I did as well. So, what's there to talk about? I don't know. Let's just get through this before the snow wipes away any evidence. Wait, I know you. Dude, really? <sighs> That's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. I don't remember what I did, honestly. Uh, you caught me, I'll pay off my bounty. I owe a- I owe a septum. I owe a septum. Here. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying, then you're free to- go. Oh, thanks so much. Yes, alright, that was one septum. He- I think he just made that up. I've spoken to the witnesses. Just like always, nobody saw anything useful. Right. Bastards escaped again. Again. There might be more to this, if you'll let me help. Look, friend. 
If you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. You said you were busy. Talk to the steward, though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be on official business. Oh yeah. If he's willing, then we'll talk. I just met the guy. Yeah, your leaf, your leaf, the steward, the personal friend who has no head for war. Okay, I'm gonna run right up. I should have brought a hood. My head's cold. Head is very cold. Let's go talk to your leaf. Hello. I always wonder why some of these guards do not wear cloaks. I would think everyone would have a cloak. A big, fat fur cloak like you, sir. You know what you're doing. Uh, like me. Uh, your leaf is right over here, right? Garl? Not of the head. Day, I hope. Your leaf, I good to see you again. Uh, it's not that quiet a day. As you know, there's um. Susanna the Wicked's body is still outside. I wanted to to help maybe with the investigation. These are difficult times indeed, when men stalk their brethren like beasts. Like beasts? Have and you seen her? As thin as it is, if you offer your aid, I gladly accept. Excellent. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. Well, thanks very much. You mean I don't have to go fetch something to prove my worth? Well, thanks very much, Yorleaf. I needed that. Good little boost. Yes, excellent. Uh, who is this fellow? Lorthine. Spent my life serving Talos. Oh, right. He was the priest of Talos. Okay. Good to see you, Lorthheim. I wish it would stop snowing. Uh, right. Oh, Silda. You've moved away. She's moved away from the crime scene. Will you spare a few coins to help I someone? gave you one. It's a nice thing that the Jarl lets her stay right there next to... The Palace of Kings. Calixto, hello. I should, even if I don't find anything, I should go and see his House of Curiosities sometime today. Uh, What am I doing? I'm taking kind of the long way, huh? I needed to go back here. There's some sort of... I've got to say something to the guard. Hi! Everything all right? Your leaf has granted me permission to aid in the investigation. All right, then. I noticed the trail of blood leading away from here. Oh, you noticed Elgert's it. taken the body into the Hall of the Dead to prepare for burial. Good. She's a little crazy, but if she knows anything, it's dead bodies. Yeah, I kind of get that impression. Um, okay. So, blood spot, blood spot. Let me... Oh, it's, it's, it's rude to pick flowers at a graveyard, isn't it? Especially when there's blood on the ice. Um, I will run in here and talk to her real quick. Maybe she's begun an autopsy. That would be useful. What exactly killed the woman? I mean, besides being stabbed repeatedly. Why do I need an autopsy now? Large diagonal cut from left shoulder. Yes. Have you noticed anything strange about the body? Well, she's dead. Right. But so I guess that's, that's not unusual. It we kind of knew that. In here. Oh, yeah. I you're mean, so observant. Who's not me, that is. Thanks for clarifying. Sorry. Was only joking with you. Um. So, uh, have you found anything? Not really. Right. The only unusual thing is the shape of the cuts. Shape of the cuts, that's good. They look like they were made with... Well, the ancient Nords used these kinds of curved blades when they embalmed their dead. Oh, I I've seen no those. Windham would even have something like that. <laughs> Other than me, of course. Of course. I don't think she had anything to do with this. Why would she go around killing young women? Uh... Okay, well, let me know if you find anything else, Helgert. Thanks very much. I wouldn't hold out too much hope. Oh, okay. Now, I really got to get back to the body. A lot of work to prepare her for the grave. 
I can... Yeah, I bet. I bet. Um, are you eating a piece of bread? Do you mind if I sit down and have something? I think I've got some food. Did I bring some food? Oh, no, I just brought some water. I'm going to drink some water real quickly. Uh, I don't have any food, do I? And I don't want to steal from her. Oh, this addiction stuff is really annoying. So, we don't know. Let me follow this blood. Did no guard think maybe he should follow the blood trail? I assume that it does not go into the Hall of the Dead. How are these little flowers still alive? Huh. Uh, okay. Trail. More blood. Blood. Yes, this is all very obvious blood. Viola Giordano's house. Hello? I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army until I took a sword to the chest. You're not getting a veteran's pension? Angrenor once honored. Where's your coat? I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my war wound. You must be really accustomed to this weather. Like, I'm, I'm not freezing to death or anything, but it's cold. It's very cold. I wish I had a hood on. I have this bad habit of picking up flowers everywhere. All right, hot on the trail, then. Let's pretend we're hot on the trail. Blood and... Yeah, this is, uh... There's nothing subtle about this. Pulled over the wall, maybe? It looks like it goes to this house. Hiram, it needs a master... It has a master lock. So I need access to Hiram. Maybe I will go back and talk to the folks at the palace. They can give me a key, right? Uh, is this not the way? What? Okay, Shrine of Talos. Oh! This must be the Shrine of Talos that... <laughs> like the veterans' wives use or something. Lots of weapons here. Lots of fairly interesting looking weapons here. Bows. Look at that. There's a staff. A major staff. I wonder if he's got a lot of... If Ulfric has many wizards fighting for him. That would be very strange. From what I've read, ever since the Oblivion Crisis, nobody here has done a lot of magic. Now, I grew up... I don't know any magic, but I have grew up around magic. And so it's not so crazy for me. Uh, let's see. No, I take that back. I know Clairvoyance. <laughs> that is the only spell I can cast, and I can only cast it for approximately half a second. Oh, I wish it would stop snowing. It would certainly improve my frame rate. Let's get... in. Yes. Oh, I... Don't mean to bother him. Uh, your leaf, though. This is. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. You curved love those swords. swords, don't you? Next time I find one, I'll bring it back to you. How do I get into Hyrim? Frigga Shattershield's old place. It's been a bad. Okay, is that it? I don't know. I think oh. has the key. Got it. Thank you. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. That it is. So I need to find Tova Shattershield. Uh, who apparently lived right down the street from her daughter. I think the clan Shattershield house is very close to Hiram. Where would I be if I were Tova? Maybe I'll pop by the house. I could stop by the market. I could stop inside here and get something to eat real quick and take a peek for her. Whew. Cold. Very cold. 
You, none of you are... Yeah. I keep forgetting everyone's name. This is a local favorite and... Uh... First songs I ever learned. Hi. Ragnar the Red. What do I do? Do I hire a mercenary? Bloody tail. I, Talos. I wish Uncle were here. Uh, hold on. What's the problem? Hello, stranger. I apologize. I have a tendency to mumble out loud. That was not mumbling. You were talking out loud. Listen, um... Well, stop it. Mumbling out loud is a bad habit, and it's creeping me out. It's It wasn't mumbling. It was talking very distinctly out loud. What happened? Family sword. Oh, I talked to you before. Pelgert. Pelgert. Morris Weinsop. We talked. Yes, and you think that some bandits somewhere you're not really sure they happen... They might have it. Over in the Uttering Hills Cave. Right? Uttering Hills Cave. Okay. Maybe they're the ones who attacked the caravan. It's a long shot. But you never know. Yeah, you never know. Uh, alright, look. I'll find it for you, but you are gonna need to pay me. Of course. My apologies. I'm new at this. Uh-huh. I suppose I pay you half now, and half when the sword is retrieved? Uh, yeah. Hopefully this is enough. Perfect. Hey! Perfect! Perfect! He gave me 250 septums for nothing! I haven't lifted a finger for him. Good! <laughs> Rolf! Uh... Well, that was grand! I need to find more suckers like that. Yeah, some someday I'll run over there and see if I can't find a sword. A sword buried in Uttering Hills Cave. Is it bad form to uh, open up people's hotel room doors just to see if they're home? Yeah, I'm saying that Tova Shattershield, not here. Nobody by the name of Tova is here. So I'm just going to have some bread or something. Hey, Elda. Fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. That I am. I was just thinking about your... Fresh break. Fresh break. Break, break. Take a look. Thank you. Good. And what kind of cheese shall I do today? Where is your cheese? You don't have any cheese out. Okay. Um. You're going to have to go find it. You got my hopes up. Ale. I'm going to have an ale. Thank you. Enjoy your stay, and don't break nothing. I'm just going to sit right here and eat my bread and drink my ale. Ale. Bread. Done. Now let's go. Vala? We're going to have a rematch with Vala as soon as... You buy a flower? I get some heavy armor on and get over this addiction to healing potions, of all things. I didn't get addicted to skooma, I got addicted to healing potions. Tova Shattershield. Maybe she's shopping. Um, if not, then possibly I'll just run over to Clan Shattershield House. Orc. Isn't that... Yeah, Sheller Isai. Uh, Brewolf! Hey, 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 hey! Uh, yes, I cleared out those bandits in the cave you mentioned. Now that's good work. Everyone will be a lot safer with them gone. Dark elf and Nord alike. Uh, that's the idea. Some gold is promised. And let me show you a bit about wearing heavy armor. Save you some aches on a long march. That sounds fantastic, Brugwolf. Thanks very much. 50 septums, okay. Safe journey, sword brother. I. Well, he's he's fighting the good fight anyway. I think fifty septums was really cheap of him, but whatever. Tobjorn Shatter Shield. Have I met that man before? You aren't. Need something? A levy cruel sea. Okay. So that's a cruel sea. You are Tobjorn Shatter Shield. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, Tova. She's still in mourning. Well, you see, I was just looking for your wife. 
Um, as a matter of fact, I've been helping the Jarl to solve the case of this murderer. Our little girl died recently. I've been shouldering my days with strong need, but nothing gives my Tova peace. So I should expect her to be an unconsolable. To remind my wife that our child is with the gods now, but I can't find one. You can't find an amulet of arcade. I will bring one to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Please forgive my mood. I'm still coming to terms with my daughter's death. No, it's perfectly understandable. And here in such a cold, dreary place, really. Uh, who are you again? Neuron, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Are you, by the way, are you treated as badly as the Dark Elves? She looks altmer, doesn't she? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. You have a nice stand here, though. In time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. Okay. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are. And so they continue to dwell in that slum. So you think it's a characteristic of the Dark Elves that keeps them from being accepted. How long have you been here? Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Just got here. Opportunity in Skyrim. Oh, that is an interesting perspective. Thank you for your custom. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. I hear mostly complaints. I never hear anything nice about, you know... The Nords and visitors. Uh, so, right, just the Dunmer are treated badly. Just the Dunmer, not the High Elves, the Altmer. Interesting. Well, I, I guess that there are a lot more Dunmer here, right? That's why they all live in the Grey Quarters, because they're refugees from the Red Mountain explosion. Uh, the volcano explosion, right? So they all came en masse, and they all kind of freaked the Nords out when they showed up in droves, and they kind of... This is the House of Clans Shattershield. Yes, that's where I thought it was. And they kind of haven't adapted as well as they could have, I guess. Ulfric, by the way, is letting an entire colony of Dunmer refugees live in his city, within the city walls. He doesn't make them live outside the city walls. I put that as a point in his favor. Not everybody has to live in a fancy house. Um, where... So how am I supposed to find Tova? You know what I will do. I'm going to go and get that Amulet of Arche and see if... Like, I don't know where I can find an Amulet of Arche now that I think about it. Except that Arissa has one. She's been wearing an Amulet of Arche for a little while now. I, don't, I didn't think she was particularly religious but um, you know she thinks about her family every now and then we recently killed that guy who uh, betrayed her family and you know led to them getting killed tracked him down in that cave yet another spider infested cave I wonder if she'll part with it that's the point. I wonder if I could just borrow that. For the sake of, you know, the young pretty women of Windhelm who are being massacred by whoever. Uh, hello. You know, you, you stand there all the time. All the time. I haven't seen you move. What's your deal? I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. Okay, I think I heard you mention that. Why stand there? It's good to spend some time on solid land. Yes, there's, there's solid land everywhere, all around. All around, solid land. Life on the river makes for weak legs, so I do a lot of walking when we dock. But you're, you're not walking, you're standing. You're standing, right there, you're standing. You should walk, walk, walk. It'll keep you warmer, too, it's so cold. Just as some advice. Uh, hello. Need something? No, no, it's just... Oh, refugee. Refugee, right. Doesn't look like a very warm hubble. Uh, okay. I guess you make do with what you can, what you have. 
pop over this way. <laughs> it totally drained me. Totally drained me to run up that plank. Uh, some books. I love reading these. I just want a, a giant library. I want to find a giant library and spend days in it because ever since I taught myself to read... Oh, oh, Ice Wraiths! I've read this before. When winter's chill descended upon me as I traveled further north through the frozen plains and mountains, I settled in at the end at Dawnstar for a moment of respite and a warm meal. Another traveler there told me to be cautious that there are creatures who settle into the white powder, the powder white of the snow, with nary a clue to the carelessness. Uh, I can't read. Until it is too late. <laughs> to the careless until it is too late. He went on and on with wild gestures and fantastic tales of entire merchant expeditions being killed by the beasts. His stories frightened the other impatience. But patrons, but I will not be turned by a coward's tale. I will see these for my own eyes, for those icy caves and snow-capped peaks of the north are exactly the type of places that call to an adventurer like me. Cool. Lucid serpentine creatures. I think I've seen them before. They're nasty. And their teeth are worth a lot in alchemy. Ah, pardon. Oh, I was just just looking around. Come, come. I haven't got all day. All right, I'm out. Sorry. Let's get back down then. I want to get inside. You know what's around here. Oh, ouch. You know what's around here, right? Uh, Balin Hull... No, no, not that. Calixto's! Calixto lives around here. Or his House of Curiosities is around here. What was your hard name again? Hard work is hard work. It's good to relax when I can. But I still have to listen to my brothers harping about injustices. Yeah. So you don't like that? You just like to sit outside the bar, huh? Of course working for Bolfrida is in my first choice. But what else can a Dunmer do out here? Right. Uh, okay. Let's see. Where was Calixtos? I think maybe up this way. It's funny that it's right in the... Um... Uh, at least if I remember correctly, it's kind of in the gray quarter. Maybe it's just outside of... Walk! Walk! Walk, Valdsi! Garyon, walk! Because I will smite you. I really am considering smiting her because... She's in the way. She's always in the way. Let's see what Calixto has in store. Hello. Good to see you again. Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. You mentioned a tour. Yes, let's do that. Indeed I did. For a few septims... I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. I'd like that very much. Two gold, two separates. If you'll just follow me, I'll tell you tales and show you wonders such as you've never seen. Aha! I can't wait. What do we have? These tools were found in a crypt outside Windhelm. They belong to oh. the ancient Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before Embalming the picks. Isn't that what uh Most scholars Susanna was killed with of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? I'm sort of wondering too now. So we know that Calixto has some Here embalming the Book of Fate, tools. Discovered in a secret room in the Arcane University. The Book of Fate. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader. So the words change from one person to the next. Ah, could I some read it? see only blank pages. And nobody knows why. Perhaps some of us are born with no destiny. Or maybe the blank pages signify an imminent death. Could I read it? I'm going to take a peek. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, I have blank pages! I don't want to die. Let's let's hope that I have no destiny. Does that mean I'm a bum? What's What does uh, what does no destiny mean? Besides about to die. Calixto! Ah, 
Now here's an item out of legend. Okay. This is Iskramor's soup spoon. Whoa, you don't say. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is no spoon, it's a fork. Yes, Nobody that's a fork. Soup with a fork. Nobody can eat soup with a fork. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Don't I have a torch here? I want to look a little more closely. Well, Definite fork. Friend, you did not know Iskramor. Uh... Okay. This innocent looking fruit fool that did, well, this is what does that have to do with, uh... Legend holds that the dancer's pipe has you don't mind if I keep this torch out, do you? It's a little dark. None know its origins, but the stories say that men who hear its music are compelled to dance uncontrollably, no matter the peril. Really? To activate this strange power, one must only speak the magic words, which are... <laughs> Oh my, I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't I? Yeah, I'm not much of a dancer. Does he do that as a joke to everybody? And with that, the tour is over. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon. Oh, thanks very much. This was so interesting. I wonder why Calixto has an old man voice when he doesn't look all that much older than me. Uh... I look far studlier, but he doesn't look that old. My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Your sister Such and you. We had. Where's your sister these I days? I don't care much for the war, one way or the other. Okay. It I... bothers me that fewer people come to Windhelm these days. What about your sister, though? You need something? Yes, 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 yes. How did you assemble this collection? There was a. I was going to ask you. Well, hello. Hello. Hmm. I can't hmm? ask you now? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. I can't ask him now. There was a dialogue option. How did you assemble this collection? I guess it's just because his sister and he did it. And I don't need to know anymore. But I would like to know more. There's got to be something he can say. Scroll of Harmony. Scroll of Blizzard. Yeah. These embalming picks and drills and scalpels are maybe a bit of an issue. I wonder where his sister went. Oh my god, I'm, I'm imagining such horrible things. That his sister died, and so he's been killing young women? And, uh... I don't know, he's got somebody locked in the basement? Of course, I'm probably just making this up. Huh. Well. Enough of that. 